The all-new 2010 Chevy Equinox is off to a hot start. Demand is exceeding supply as consumers of the successful previous generation model look to upgrade and new shoppers give GM's latest small crossover a look. Prior to this test drive, I had already been in two different GMC terrains, so the Equinox felt immediately familiar to me. And because I didn't fall in love with either the four-cylinder or V6 terrains, I was a bit skeptical of the Equinox. I wasn't even a fan of the first-gen model. But a subtle difference between the Equinox and its GMC counterpart lent to my preference towards the Chevy. The terrain is a butch-looking SUV with an aspirational name to match. And for that, the GMC falls short of expectations. The Equinox, on the other hand, is urban chic. It's styled in the vein of a smaller Chevy Traverse and has considerable curb appeal. It comes off as less pretentious and friendlier overall. That being said, it still has some warts that I didn't like in the terrain either. This tester has the optional V6 and all-wheel drive. The 3 liter 264 horse engine, while reasonably fuel efficient and powerful, comes across as a little coarse. It immediately makes you long for GM's far superior 3.6 liter unit. And for that reason, I think most buyers would be better off sticking with the base 2.4 liter 4 cylinder, which feels more fitting here and nets 3 more MPGs. The V6 with all wheel drive is rated at 17 MPG city and 24 highway. The other attribute which makes the Equinox not as satisfying to drive as some of its small Ute competitors is its size. It's looked upon as a compact crossover, but there's no denying it's quite a bit bigger, and it drives that way too. It doesn't have that nimbleness that makes vehicles like the Honda CRV so easy to maneuver. And though I found a little more mojo to enjoy in the Equinox, it still largely leaves any passion or excitement outside. It's competent, certainly roomy, and has a great looking interior. There are some nice features in this up-level LTZ trim, like heated seats, a power liftgate, OnStar, remote start, a rear view camera, Bluetooth, sat radio, and a USB port. Added to mine are the 19 inch chrome wheels and a sunroof. Total price as seen here is $33,735, certainly not cheap. If you're searching for something a bit bigger than the mainstream, about the same size as a Jeep Grand Cherokee, the Equinox might fit your needs. For Drive Time on Yahoo Autos, I'm Steve Hannes.